<laughs> Hello, Sean. Hello. All right, all yours, Debbie. Mandy. Good evening, everybody. It's so nice to have you all again together again on Cycle 11. Um, I would just like to introduce myself. I'm Mandy. I'm your MC for the evening. And Sean is going to be our timekeeper. And Debbie is going to start us off with uh, money management and admin. Thanks, Debbie. Yes. Hi, everyone. Hello, Amanda. Nice Hi. to see you. Hi, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Are um, you well? Yes, thank you. So, yeah, it, so it's money and admin, money management and admin. I find <clears throat> it's good to have two accounts. I've actually we've actually got three. One is our personal account, one is our business account, and one is our stock account. By stock, I mean uh, it's an in out. So if it's Bloom tickets, that's not our money. It's your money. You put the money in, and the money goes out. Simple as that. So it's so easy to keep it. I just tick, tick, you know, when I'm doing my checks. 1,000 gone to bloom, 1,000 came in. Fantastic. That's the way it works. Okay, so that's the money side of it. Um, yeah. And I find that it is quite important to just keep a check uh, what you are doing. Just a simple, simple cash book of ins and outs. Uh, at this stage, none of you except maybe Jenny and Sean need to put in put it with your tax returns. You don't. It's just you guys are just not earning enough at this stage, so it wouldn't make a difference. Whereas um, we do so, and I know you guys do. So if you ask, I always make a list of everything that went through my bank account or twelve incomes from your life, and I send it off to the. Um, Near life, and I ask them to put it on a letterhead and to make sure that they put that it's Debbie and John Cunningham's business. Therefore, my tax is divided in two half for John and half for me. So I found that that is very, very helpful. I didn't know that, and I haven't done it for ages. And then suddenly, one of my accountants said to me, She said, Debbie, why don't you just, if John is your partner, then go for it, put half and half. Which we do, so that that's a good that was a good uh, tip from her. Then with admin, I found that admin near life does most of our admin for us. <laughs> they are fantastic at admin, but that doesn't relieve us from doing a little bit. Okay, so we do need to do some admin, and um, there's quite a few things. I make sure that every every day every day. I go and I take who's doing what in the business. So I've got my sheet. I write down uh, sales <laughs> performance, both sales performance, and so I can just see who's coming and who's going and what's happening. And like Linda V at the moment, she's running ahead of the the whole tribe, <laughs> which is very good. Well done, Linda. <laughs> um, yeah. So. And it's just to keep a check on it. And if someone is like lacking or going a bit back. Um, then we, I pray for them. <laughs> and I say, oh, Lord, please just help. help. I'm just pulling it out the hat. Please help Jenny this month to get her, her points that she wants. <laughs> so just little things like that. So it's part of my admin, guys. One of the biggest things that I found at the moment, and that is we we tend to have relied too much on near life. It's our business. It's not near life's business. And I know that they say they send out three reminders to everybody, your um, renewal is coming up, your renewal is due, and then on the month, your renewal is this, and uh, and, and that's what they say they do, and I, I've never had one of those messages, so I don't know, okay? But what I do every month is I take a printout of, and you can go into your team, and it'll tell you whose renewals are up. And they've got three months grace, but I don't. We don't give them three months grace. <laughs> so I give that um, list to John. Now, just uh, Ansi wasn't aware that we don't know who's who in the zoo. All we know is that they belong to a director. 
So if Jenny Potter, and this is just a, a, an instance, if Jenny Potter comes up that she needs to renew, well, Jenny's a, a, a director, so that wouldn't count. But say K, hey, let me say K comes up. It, it won't show K, it shows Sean. All right. So, and John doesn't, doesn't, uh, to go into each single one every month and find out who they belong to is just too time consuming. So, John just phones, phones them from the top to the bottom. And he says, and well, you send a message. Send right? a message. Send to them a WhatsApp. And it comes back that they keep, that whatever. And I, for an example, there's a guy, Bermela, Mr. Bermela. Um, he's in Jenny Potter's team. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> I mean, he, he really doesn't do anything. Yeah. But he's, he's a distributor still. So John phoned him and he said, oh, how much is it? He obviously never got a message. How much is it? So John said 160. So he says, what do you want me to do? John said, what do you want me to do? He phoned John. And John and him had a lovely, lovely conversation. And then he, John says, well, look, you can either give 160 into Debbie's account and she'll sort it out for you. Or otherwise, you pay it into near life. But make sure that when you do, you send them proof of payment and you... um." And your ID, the near life ID. Oh, no, I'll pay it into Debbie's account, he says. I gave him my account. He phoned me back five minutes later. He said, have you got the money? Capitech is fantastic, by the way. I said, yes, your money is in Capitech. I'll do it first thing on Monday. That was on Saturday. Monday, I suddenly looked at it, and it said member. But his expiry date was July. So that's not right. So I phoned Neil up and I said, listen, do members have an expiry date? And why is it on my distributor chat place? So they, they said, we'll check. They went back and they checked and they saw that it had been an error. He is a distributor and he was going to expire on the 23rd of July. So I paid it immediately and now he's registered again. And because he didn't know, him and John have now built up a rapport. His son is a rugby player, and he might be coming to uh, the summit with us, and the whole thing. Yeah. So you, that's why I'm saying it's your business, so check. And we are going to do it anyway, but we don't mind. We phoned some of Linda Foster's team, and they say, oh, no, Linda's phoned us twice already, <laughs> you know. We say, well, that's fantastic. That's great. Hope you're happy with the pro products, etc." And John has a chat with them. Okay, so that is important because we've had a lot of challenges with people who do not renew. One was one of our, one, your team, Jenny, Jenny Holiday. Um, Doris Pittox was in hospital for 10, 10 weeks. And she let yeah, it lapse and she didn't get our messages. And um, so eventually, when I eventually did get through to her, I got through to her daughter, Fiona, and I said, Fiona, you know, we do need to, and, and it had, it had gone over her grace period. She, she was about three, four, four, five months, five months over her grace period. So I phoned Aria and I said, oh, Aria, please, I've slipped up. <laughs> I said, I've really slipped up. Can you help? And she did. It was a big thing. They had to go and ask permission. Charlie B had to sign it. So it's a big thing. So please don't let them go over the expiry dates. Okay. Um, yeah, the other admin that I like to just keep a check on as well is you get a message from Neo Life saying that some of the addresses are not right or their telephones are not right. So you need to, if you've got another number, phone the person, say, listen, we need to renew your, pro we, re we need to update your profile. And um, I'll just send it into our, our distributor center and she, she does it for me. So, yeah. So it's important um, that we keep it, even if they're not uh, doing anything, even if they're not buying anything, they will, one day they'll come back on board. Um, and I've got three people who haven't been around for two, three years. They haven't renewed. Now they ask me if they can buy on my ID. 
um so anyway it's business i say yeah okay so i do the order for them and they go in and they pay and they pick up so yeah so but it's, it's not the right way to go around it okay thank you very much thanks mandy thank you very much debbie that was very informative right now we have amanda and she's going to tell us all about chewable all c thanks amanda right. Thank you, Mandy. Thanks a lot. Good evening, everybody. Um, I would like to talk about the Neolife Chewable All C tablets. They they actually super, as you'll hear now. I'm just giving you some information, and I can also just add that um, we, as a family, use them ourselves, and we have experienced a lot of these benefits ourselves. Okay, so it is a powerful immune booster and an incredible antioxidant. It also comes as a slow release tablet, which means it stays in your body for up to three hours. And because it's water soluble, whatever you don't use, you lose. And for that reason, it's actually advisable if you take more than just one vitamin C tablet a day, not to take all at, all at once, but to spread them evenly through the day so that you keep your vitamin C levels up. It also enables your body to produce its own collagen, which is essential. And on, on the Neolife bottle itself, it actually tells you there that vitamin C is critical in the formation and the maintenance of connective tissue. So that's quite essential for to maintain that. It also slows down aging. It maintains healthy skin, bones, blood vessels, and cartilage. And it prevents colds, bad digestion, bleeding noses and gums. And it also relieves stress. It comes in a bottle with 90 tablets in it. So you can either take one a day, up to three a day. And then if you're sick, obviously, you can take more than that because it's all natural. Neolife comes in a, a tuber also comes in a delicious cherry flavor. And one tablet is equivalent to four oranges. It actually includes rose hips and acerella cherries, which is one of nature's richest sources of vitamin C. And that also aids in the absorption and the utilization of vitamin C. So basically, Neolife has gone and they have taken the whole orange, put it in a tablet, except for the water. Thank you. Okay, Thank well you done. very much, Amanda. Well done. <laughs> Great to Thank see you. Right, now, now we have Sean and he's going to be doing... Uh, CoQ10 for us. Thank you very much, Sean. Thanks, Mandy. Yes, CoQ10, one of my more favorite products, especially recently. And I'm cheating slightly because I'm going back to one of my previous um, talks that I did on this. Uh, let's just get this little lot over here. And I will bring this up quickly. Um, so CoQ10, yeah, CoQ10 is also known as ubiquinone, and it's a fat-soluble vitamin-like compound, because it's not a vitamin, found in virtually every cell of every living thing. CoQ10 is present in all human cells, reaching its highest concentrations in and around the energy producing mitochondria, which is the tiny little things inside the cells. And if you really beam into a cell, it's quite a fascinating little thing. And it's needed for every basic cellular function, including energy production, and in fact, even life itself. So without this, we're in serious trouble. Because of its unique fat soluble structure, CoQ10 can readily exist within cell membranes and facilitate both its protective antioxidant and energetic functions. So it's quite a fascinating little supplement, this one. No other molecule can do this. CoQ10 levels are known to decrease naturally with aging, either by reduced production efficiency, known as biosynthesis, within the body, 
or by increased metabolic requirements, or both, because life is hard work on the cells. Our natural production of CoQ10 slows as we age, often by more than 50% by the age of 50. Well, most of us are younger than that on this talk, so that's a good thing. Some diet and lifestyle patterns and prescription <laughs> drug therapies are known to deplete CoQ10 unnaturally. That so speeds up that process. Now, the CoQ10 mitochondrial energy complex is a nutritional fortification for optimal cellular energy and health. Its exclusive proprietary formula was developed from years of research by the Near Life Scientific Advisory Board and our global science and technology team. And in fact, CoQ10 has been well known for many years. And people often would ask, why doesn't Near Life have a CoQ10? And the answer always came back was that they would have it when they could find a food sourced supply. And this is where this particular product came from because almost every other CoQ10 product on the market today is synthetic. Um, it is packed with specially selected nutrients known to play key roles in healthy lifelong mitochondrial energy production. So why do we need this? CoQ10 levels are known to decrease naturally with aging, as I said, either by reduced production within the body and or by increased metabolic requirements. Um, diet and lifestyle patterns are known to, de to deplete CoQ10 unnaturally quickly. The use of some prescription drugs, in particular cholesterol-lowering statins and other over-the-counter medications, can deplete CoQ10 in the body, which is why people who are taking this often feel <clears throat> exhausted all the time. Low CoQ10 levels have been directly associated with a higher risk of many well-known diseases of lifestyle and aging. If you want to get old faster, don't take your CoQ10. Low levels of CoQ10 have been associated with the negative impact of three of the primary biologic markers of metabolic syndrome, namely obesity, oxidative stress, and inflammation. So why our particular one? Because each tablet con uh, delivers 100 milligrams of highly bioavailable CoQ10 sourced from nature in a clinically proven dose for cellular energy production. As always, the SAB do not mess about. They do things properly, they do things scientifically, and they do things based in nature. Exclusive near life phytolipid and sterile blend sourced from whole grain lipids and sterols known to help support optimal mitochondrial structure and function. So if people say, oh, why is your CoQ10 so expensive? You can say because it's not just CoQ10. It is CoQ10, they should in fact call it CoQ10 plus. Technically, we've got CoQ10 in a base of trionine. And this provides the four tocotrienols mm. derived from rice known to help protect mitochondrial li lipid mem membranes from oxidative attacks, just like vitamin E. Plus the four most powerful phytosterols, and I'm not going to try and pronounce them now, from soya that may assist with mitochondrial function. We know trionine works on the cell. Well, now CoQ10 is sort of the turbo boost to work on the cell. Near Life's proprietary polyphenol blend delivers whole food sourced polyphenols plus resveratrol from red grapes to provide extra antioxidant protection and to help to promote mitochondrial protection. So you don't just have a CoQ10, you've got a CoQ10 on steroids as far as activity is concerned. With L-cysteine, the rate limiting amino acid needed for cellular biosynthesis of the mitochondrial protector glutathione, L-cysteine may help support mitochondrial function and strengthen inner cellular protective systems. Other key ingredients in this product include sunflower lecithin, coconut medium chain triglycerides or MCT oil, and rice bran oil, all helping towards the absorption of CoQ10. It's sourced from nature using cold pressed oils that preserve its nutritional value. And it's easy to swallow in a soft gel capsule. 
It's based in nature with near life products use only GMO free ingredients. There are no artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, or preservatives added. And I can tell you it is absorbed very, very quickly. I in fact use this before I go for a park run and it has made a huge difference. When they first brought it out, I took a tablet, not thinking very much about it. And that day I knocked three minutes off my run, which if you're running is quite significant because normally I can manage about maybe 30 seconds if I'm lucky, but to knock three minutes off was quite astounding to me. And I find that I often take a little bit too late, but by the time I'm heading back from the halfway mark of the park run, suddenly my legs just take off on themselves. And I just float along with it because my heart rate calms down, my stamina is there, my legs move at a much more rapid pace than I could ever do without this. So I call it my magic potion. So I would definitely recommend, I take one a day. People like Alan Blaine take up to four a day. But I think um, if you're doing anything more active, maybe take one to two a day. I think Charlie also takes probably more than two a day. I think he takes between two and four a day as well. <clears throat> and can you keep up with Charlie? <laughs> uh, that's my take on CoQ10. Use it if you're Thank not you. using it. Thank you very Thank much, you. Dawn. That's excellent as always. And now we have Jenny Holiday with inviting tips on uh, uh, tips on body language and positive signs. Good evening, everyone. It's actually Rent and Mouth here, Jenny Holiday. Um, I've been given two minutes, but I've got a lot to say. So I will stop when you tell me to stop. Did you know? Did you really know? Research indicates that an excess of 90% in the meaning of communication is conveyed non-verbally. We are in a people's business, so we need to learn to be aware of our body language and the person that you're inviting into the business. Because you can actually see by observing the person you're inviting whether they really are excited and ignited. I'll come to that just now. So we never get a second chance to make a first impression. So I would suggest the first thing you do is to smile. Smiling is a universal language. <laughs> and when you smile, it costs nothing, by the way, and availeth much. But when you smile, you are relaxed. And the person you're interviewing to join the business, they become relaxed. And there's an immediate rapport between you. And then what are your negative feelings? If you are very stressed or having so many challenges, throw your shoulders back and go forward. And immediately you will relax. And then, of course, your new prospect will relax. Eye contact is very important. We'll just say, look at the person in the eye. That actually engenders trust, believability, dependability. But other cultures don't actually always enjoy you looking in their eyes. They look at, think, oh, she's very aggressive, too assertive. Other cultures actually lower their eyes. It's important to know that. And shaking hands, when you meet your new prospect, shake their hands. And Charlie always said, don't be a dead fish. You know, don't give a slop. Very, you must be firm. But yet in other cultures, their hands are a gentle handshake, indicating a gesture of respect. How am I for time? I've got lots to say. Oh, yeah. Seating. Yeah. Hostile and competitive seating is where you sit face to face. Sitting side by side as opposed to sitting opposite the person is ideal for relationships. This is a softer approach and facilitates less aggressive eye contact. If you've been to Charlie's meetings, when he closes a deal, 
What does he do? He kneels mm -hmm. down. Charlie always kneels down and closes the deal by being at the prospect side with an application pad. Creating closeness by using your legs and feet. People will not feel their space being invaded if you your feet are within 40 centimeters of their feet. But this is important. As long as you're about one point meters away, nose to nose. This creates an artificial sense of closeness, which is great in gaining that rapport. John Cunningham taught me and has taught all of us. When speaking, you nod people into the business. No, oh, yes, I won't go into when and how and what of that. And then reading the other people. If they go like this, they're not very interested. So you change your tactics. If they start looking at their watch or gazing, they are bored. Very important that I learned. If they don't want to hear, it's very rude if they put their fingers in the ears, but holding their ear low, that's a sign that you actually have to change tactics. I think my two minutes must be up by now. So go out there, be aware of your body language, study body language, the books you can get on the internet, from the library, and also other people's talks. I better say, mm -hmm. End. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. You're very really informative and lots of information as always. Thank you very much. And now we have Debbie with recognition. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. I'll be very, very short because I think it's it's the first tour. I can't believe it's 14 days already. Two weeks into the August. Can you believe it? Um, as I just indicated earlier. Linda, Linda is leading the group, so she's doing very, very well this month, and Jenny's coming up as well. She's, she's knocking at that door, and I can see Sean's going to get there again. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's lovely having Mandy, Amanda back. Well done, Amanda. Great. We've missed Thank you. you. Thank, <laughs> Thank um, you. Me too. <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm going to stop there and let John have his close because I know he's got something exciting for us. <clears throat> Thanks, John. Okay, good evening, everyone. Wow, what lovely talks tonight, eh? And I'm glad that Sean uh, got them all on record so we can hear those magic words that you just imparted with us. Uh, you know. If you have a look at what we've got in our hands, I think a lot of us don't realize that this is a multi-million rand uh, enterprise that we are in charge of. It's huge. It really is. And sometimes we tend to do the same things every day. Every day we get stuck in a rut. And I was told that the only difference between a rut and a grave is the depth. They just vary the depth. But if you get stuck in the rut, you've got to do things, and Sean says it on his presentation, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. So sometimes you've got to step out of that, and it means stepping out of your comfort zone. But the rewards are incredible. And the work you do now, you get paid for the rest of your life. So it's it, and if the business is willable, so we can transfer it onto our children, it's no good at, at, at the end of days when you're passing on and you want to hand your business over to your children and your sons and your daughter says, but dad, your business is only worth 35 rand a month. Uh, what did you do? What happened? Were you <laughs> sleeping? You know, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it won't be like that. So it, if you, you leave a legacy, so the work we're doing now, we pass it on. And uh, we're in an incredible position here in Atel. It's wide open, everyone, really. If you knew what Devin and I know, it's for the picking. You can go and fill your structure out. You can fill your teams out. It just takes guts and courage right now to build that business 
for a lifetime legacy. And, you know, when we're walking on the beach of the world, you don't worry about the hardships you have. I think every mother that's ever had a child will not remember the pain and anguish that happened uh, uh, during childbirth, but the, the pleasure of the child when it's born far exceeds whatever she suffered there. So it's it's the, the stress and the hardship we put in now, the sweat, blood and tears that is going to carry us through in days to come. So we August is the most fantastic year. Lots of people take sips in August, September and October. It's a winding up of the year of all you've done and all your knowledge is pulled together and the opportunities are starting to present themselves and you've got to go and embrace them with two hands and to put your dreams and your goals up and believe you're going to achieve them. And you can. In the Eagle Team and uh, Neolife, whatever you dream of, we can be there. And I would just love to see a lot of the you guys uh, at uh, the Lost City with Debbie and I next year. And also, we've got the Cape Town uh, World Team Conference coming up next year. But the year after, you won't believe where we could be. Some exotic overseas travel and your names already on Debbie and my dream chart. We want you there with us and you can do it. So go out there, make a name for yourself. Just get them started um, and um, let's make this happen. Thanks, everyone. And thank you so much. All the people put this together. Thank you, Mandy, for great MC. Keep us all on track. Um, and the talks, the, the body language, Jenny Holiday could have gone another four and a half hours. I know that. Thank you so much there. Uh, Amanda, your uh, vitamin C, chewable. I don't think I've heard a better uh, description of what you got there. So well done. That's, that was so exciting. And you know, of course, Thank Sean you. has got his presentation there. He's got no time limit. We just let him run. It was, that was good. But anyway, everyone... Thank you for being here tonight and well done and God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thanks. everybody. Have a good evening. Thanks. Thank you 